Welcome to Crypto Coins, where we review the best coins for you. How's it going, my friends? Welcome back to Crypto Coins. My name is Freddie Colton, and thank you for joining me at Crypto Coins Hotel Edition. That's right, I was staying with my parents. I've got my set over here at a hotel. I am currently moving into a new house with a new studio to make everything even better for the channel. However, there were some electrical problems at said new house, so I'm staying where I can at the moment, but I am always trying to produce the best content for you. So today, I'm actually discussing a project that I talked about a little while ago on the channel and has really progressed, so I did want to kind of do, I guess, a follow-up pup, if you will. Today we are discussing Block Ape Scissors. That's right, this is a very fascinating project because again, it is a, essentially it's, it's, it's a game, there's a token behind it, there's quite a lot behind it, so we're gonna kinda go through the media, the value of the token, that sort of thing, and then get back into the basis of what this game is, but let me tell you again, very fun concept, very simple, and fun for really all ages of 18 and up, because of course you need to legally be 18 to invest in cryptocurrency. So, we can see right here that you can see the Block Ape Scissors price is currently at 46 cents. Now, it did go down a little bit today, but to give them 100% credit, the entire market took a today, so we're going to give them a big pass on that. They've still been keeping very steady, as you can see, right at the 50 cent line, which is no joke. I mean, that's more than a lot of very popular coins at the moment, and so that really tells a lot about the utility that they can bring and they even want to help bring utility to other coins but we'll get into that momentarily <clears throat> Right here we can see their BSC scan, if you'd like to check that out, you can find all of the links that I'm clicking through on their website actually. That way, remember by the way, always go through the website specifically, I never want you to get scammed, I never want you to feel that you, know, that you could be unsafe. In the crypto world, one of the number one things, never answer a DM on Discord because they will never DM you, and I will go ahead and say that for Block Ape Scissors as well. But also, you want to make sure to go through official links. So we can see right here, they've got a very beautiful white paper. Now, I don't actually want to go through all that yet. We will come back to that. I just kind of don't want to ruin that early. We can see here as well their docs, which is essentially another form of white paper with quite a lot of info, the audit, staking, the LP forms, which we'll get into a little bit because you know me, I'm the biggest fan of staking. We can see here their Reddit. They've got a decent amount of buzz on Reddit, and that's a really good sign for any project because Reddit is definitely, I'd say, one of the harshest environments to get popular on. We can see here on medium.com, they are doing very well keeping up to date with a very large audience. Look at, uh, look at just how many people are interacting to these posts, so that's really good. And they don't spam it, which is nice, they just seem to update it when necessary, which I appreciate. Now, I just wanted to show they are also on CoinMarketCap, just to kind of widen the legitimacy. They have been legitimized on quite a lot of different platforms, so at this point, you know, I did a video about them half a year ago, I have to assume, so at this point, we definitely know there is nothing like rug about this project. It is just a trustworthy project that has been working very hard, had a hard-working team, and again, I'm pretty proud to come back to this one. I found this one, for those of you who are kind of newer to the channel, I found this one a long time ago, one of my first few videos, I believe, so it's really cool to see this one shining so much, if you will. Then we can see here on their Discord, they have a whole lot of links, and by the way, I will say you can of course go through Discord links, just again, never through Discord messages. That is something that you never want to do. So we can see they're also in Poo Coins, they're in a lot of different charts, the Education, Rarity Check, which by the way, I appreciate that they allow that as well. Rarity Check is pretty big for any NFT, um, and they, you can dis they discuss in-game NFTs, BAS Token, which is their token. 
beta, the white paper, which we'll get back into, and just all types of things. Report scams, which is very smart. They have a big following on Twitter, and it's a legitimately big following, by the way. It's been going on for a while, about 15k, gonna just be 15k. Can't believe I'm not following. See that? Hmm. I hope I'm 15k. Nope, it didn't work. But you can see, of course, I actually really do like this project, as I mentioned. And this is one that I'll actually, I'm planning to do some live stream gameplay of this, so I'll get back to discussing that probably in a future video to let you know. Then we can see here Reddit again, just because I wanted to double up on that for you. This is the LP farm. This is where staking happens. They Staking is making. So this is the farm, staking rewards, staking. Uh, excuse me, I guess they're just different staking for different months, so we can see that as well. So jump on that if you are interested. I definitely always am uh, with just anything staking, so we can see. The home, so coming soon, Game Strapes, that's pretty good. Um, NFT innovation, attribute, targeted utility, scholarship, model. And then they have some very interesting partners. IBM is pretty big, Trust Swap's huge, Chainlink, Doge Palooza Festival, that is pretty cool. Which, by the way, I, I have been considering going to some actual like events this year, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, introduction, Block Ape Scissors, the most innovative play to earn ecosystem. Built on Binance Smart Chain, incorporating gaming, NFTs, and DeFi together into exciting, diverse, and rewarding opportunities. The BAS platform will feature many different types of games and play-to-earn structures for users, including the first grind-to-earn system, which eliminates barriers for entry for blockchain gaming. Each game within the BAS ecosystem will be tied directly to the BAS token and NFT reward marketplace, allowing infinite strategies for users, players, and investors to earn. The BAS model will revolutionize the blockchain gaming space and set an entirely new standard for GameFi interaction within the metaverse. Functional NFT are a crucial component of both the grind-to-earn and play-to-earn models, which provide varied approaches to earning for different budgets and interaction levels. A core building block within the BAS ecosystem is a GameFi DeFi ecosystem that requires zero barrier for entry bringing individuals from every corner of interest in relation to crypto together through a multiple a multitude excuse me of innovations and integrations. And then that is the documents, of course, which we will get into the white paper. Purpose, giving a saturated market of NFTs use cases and providing a play-to-earn ecosystem that includes everyone. BAS is heavily focused on creating a GameFi DeFi ecosystem and experience that required no barrier for entry. BAS will bring individuals from every corner of interest in relation to crypto together through a multitude of innovations and integrations, which that's a big thing. Um, that's a big thing is they, they want to integrate other products and really work together with them because they are intelligent enough to realize that to spread out and add utility to multiple people could really make the core business stronger so that's really interesting <clears throat> games block ape scissors the most innovative play to earn ecosystem built on binance smart chain incorporating gaming nft and DeFi together into exciting diverse and rewarding opportunities the BAS platform will feature many different types of games to and play-to-earn structures for users including the first grind to earn system which eliminates barriers for it to entry for blockchain gaming. Each game within the BAS ecosystem will be tied directly to the BAS token and NFT reward marketplace following infinite strategies for users, players, and investors to earn. The BAS model will revolutionize the blockchain gaming space and what people can do with their cryptocurrencies forever. Then, the first game model, Alpha Stage. Alpha is the stage when key gameplay functionality is implemented. Usually only that the developers would ever see this stage of the game developed due to being very raw and undefined. Um, unrefined, excuse me. At BAS, we are very we are being transparent enough to show our community the game's development progression, even going as far as to provide everyone the opportunity to try the public alpha, which that's a big thing I thought was cool, so I was thinking about doing the alpha, um, 
if if that wasn't over I to be honest might have missed that to be fair but um we can see the team here as well by the way so the the team the creative leads um with their nft telling you a little bit about them and if you'd like to check them out online you can do so or you can contact them immediately excuse me i, I skipped over this excuse me so we we're just discussing the gameplay here but basically block pay ape scissors it's a simple rock paper scissors game so just to kind of uh put the gaming aspect sorry i skipped these two parts but basically they are doing nfts that are going to be related to the game I just don't want to run this too long and you know re read the entirety and lose ya. So let me just go ahead and say they are they putting NFTs. They are upgrading, obtain the first ever VFX animated 3D NFTs. And so the NFTs can evolve basically on the base of challenge to other players. So there's a whole lot to do with them. They are adding again a lot of utility. And then the work with us platform. I thought that was really fascinating that they actually have a whole platform of work with us, you know, hire us, partner with us with us onboard your game um uh build with us so again they are really looking to expand and then ibm solutions essentially if you'd like to see uh, if your project is looking for the best in class chain agnostic backend infrastructure hit up ibm solutions um, and we can see again about the team, then our roadmap, which they have kept up to. You can literally check it based off of my old video that um, they have been really keeping up with it, getting, you know, getting ready to get it put out everywhere. It's going to be mobile. It's, you know, that that's what they've, they've been working on. So like the mobile game aspect, the... Uh, the, all of these amazing things you can see in fact it, it looks like that's that's what they've done already excuse me and um and and that's what i'm saying is i'm just super excited about this so i i do believe i actually did miss the alpha excuse me on saying that but i'm very excited to check out more about this game and um I, I, again i'm just i think this one's really exciting and so we can see that they are already ready for the new year and they've already gotten so much done so uh, again i'm very interested to see that and then let us check out the white paper just a little bit now to be fair the white paper give i just want to kind of go over to tell you they're telling you about this you know they the solution you know what they solve how they can help and again how they can help what they solve is the beauty of that they want to be able to work with multiple people discussing the battles and the games different entries and tournament styles NFT rewards, which you do get for winning, of course. The bigger picture, discussing what is Block 8 Scissors Shoot. It's pretty good. <laughs> then basic tokenomics as well, telling you about the what, what this is basically an extended version of the, um, excuse me, roadmap. And we can see there that Matthew Hutchins was the revision on 16th June. Um, but basically, again, it's, it's just a really fascinating one. It's well written, by the way. I do have to give multiple compliments to the team on that. Uh, very fascinating. I'm excited to definitely check this one out. I will for sure be doing some gameplay on this one, so keep an eye out for that. But until then, my friends, definitely, definitely come give a look at Block Ape Scissors Shoot. This one's a lot of fun. Again, learn more about it. You know, get excited to play play with me. And, and honestly, I think, you know, I think what I'll do, I, I would love to play with you guys on stream. So if you guys are actually interested, please definitely let me know in the comments because that, that sounds like some fun to play with you guys on a game like this in stream because I think this would, be a, this would be a real fun game to stream. You know, it's kind of up in the air as to who would win. But thank you as always, my friends, for coming by CryptoCoins. My name is Freddie Colton, and I will see you in the next episode.